Alright fuckers and fuckheads, what we're doing right now is changing the clutch cable on a Suzuki GS500 with no F behind it. I got it right got for it a right change. That time. It's uh, 2002? Yep. No. Oh, oh, 1100. It's 2001. Or 2000. Oh, let me. 1100. By the way, this is Travis flipping the wrenches here. I'm kind of sitting in the background. Been up here all day waiting on them to pick up the Virago. <laughs> it's like 5 o'clock at night. And I did that in a hurry so they'd be able to this morning too. You know what that was? When they gave me the, I went down and I got the floats out of that 550. Right. Because his floats were trashed. I mean, the the um, metal yeah. on his floats was just pure rust, and the carb cleaner ate that shit away. Cool. So there wasn't much left. There you go. So I grabbed the floats out of that 550, stuck them on here. I didn't realize about. Um, the tab is in a different spot, so I had to bend the tab over and do it that way. I had to fix that shit this morning. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Got ramps, so I can ride it up. Well, first thing I did really too, keep that in mind. This is on here. I already took it off. You have to take the screw all the way out. By the way, because you can see there's a rut right here. It has to come all the way out to be able to take it off.
to come on, apparently. All right. Boy. Yep. That nasty in there. He's not going to be able to get it until the morning now. Huh. Normal. Normal. I got a question for you. So, I pulled out this last bottom bolt here, bottom left bolt, and it came out and it was covered in oil. Mm-hmm. That's all right? I'll put shaft seal most likely. Seal right behind that shaft there. Oh, okay. Okay. And when you do this, this right here, pops in out of theory, there. pops right out of here. In real practice, looks like it needs to be pushed down. No, that one's got that damn tab. You gotta bend the tab out of the way. Oh really? Oh yeah, I see it. Honda does that on some of them, but Honda's really good about not doing this kind of shit. Is that all from my chain? No, it's all from that output shaft, so... There we go. Now I got it bent out the way. Push it down. Yeah, it still won't let me push it down far enough. Okay, bend it out some more. Push it down, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna unscrew that out. Yep. 12 millimeter. Oh, uh, that should be a 10. Is it a 10 or a 12? 10. Yeah, it's a 10. You wanna loosen your stop down there oh. first? That is a 12. Yep. Twelve and eight. All right, left. Yep, doing right. Best way to do when you need leverage like that. I didn't even scratch a case. But you make sure you push on the fence. But if you have to put a lot of pressure, don't do that shit. Pull the whole cable back through first. Oh, gotcha. Some guys will tell you to loosen that nut before you take it off. It's all, I mean, most of the time it just pops right loose. Bring your old one out. This is why we're changing the cable. 
guy I got it from tried to just electric tape it. Oh, the guy who tried to get it from works at Disney World and he's in charge of making sure that Mickey Mouse got it. or Mickey Oh no, no, fuck. I fucked that joke all up. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. I was trying to do a play on the, you know, um, Mickey found out Minnie's fucking goofy. Oh yeah, yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't pull it off. Is this gonna eliminate all that play I got in my clutch now? Oh yeah. I'll eliminate most of it. Your angle's a lot of it. All right, there we go. Y'all saw I did that. Yeah, you just. Boom, it's on there. Nice bolt for up here. Did this come up from out there somewhere? It's decorative. I have no idea where it came from. It's down here and down. Mm, probably off of Tristan's bike. He's the only one with decorative shit that's been here all day. That thing, it's starting to look pretty good when he's done. It's gold wing. I like it a lot. Nice. Let's take two 10 millimeters and tighten up this nut the whole lever on. Suzuki puts that fucking switch, the clutch safety switch right there. Here's that's the one thing this kid did good, the one that sold it to you. Yeah. He did you a lot of favors getting rid of that safety shit. Oh, really? What's yeah. clutch safety? Um, you have to have the clutch in to start it, kickstand, if you put it in gear, um, even if you've got the clutch pull, the kickstand, if it's up, and it's, you don't have the clutch pulled in, it won't let you start it. Or no, it'll it, shut it off if you don't. Every once in a while, if my kickstand's up and I try to start it, or if my kickstand's down and I try and start it, it won't start. But sometimes it will. I, I thought we bypassed that. No, he, right here is the little thingy. Yeah, just twist those two wires together is all you do. Uh, I thought he already did that. Well, I don't know. It's like, I think if I hold my clutch in, I can start it. If the kickstand's down. No, there's wanna... no clutch safety switch up here. The hole's for it. The hole's there, but there's no switch in it. Uh, I don't know. So now we did the bottom? I know he took out your tip-over switch out of the back. He moved your whole fuse box. Yeah, he did. Yeah. You want to run this nut up as far as you can. Up. sounds when you start these. Take your Phillips like that. And just push. Oh fuck. That was supposed to be through Almost had it. See now that I pushed it down with the Phillips, I can just bring this one in from underneath. That's pretty shabby. Yeah, yeah. We're good. And it would pop all that together. Can I throw that all the way down now? I know. Yeah.
probably uh, grease from this side later. You're going to have to spin it back out as we adjust it. Alright, output shaft seal for that. It's only like 10 bucks. Oh, to stop all that? Yeah. Is that... I just bought one for one of the 450s. I haven't even used it yet. It was the same one you have it. Is that bad for the bike though? means you're losing a little bit of oil, probably not very much, but you know you change it before it, before it does get bad. Oh, okay. And it's like 20 minutes to change that whole seal. Okay. Something we can do on another day. Alright, so now yeah, what's the next step? All you have to do is step? pop that cover. You, you saw that clip on your yeah. sprocket? Pop your sprocket, two bolts, that cover off that seal comes right off. And uh, at the same time, I could probably change my chain and stuff and all that. Dig out the seal. I got the seal diggers right there. I could change my chain out and all that good stuff too at the same time. Sprockets. Sprockets. Uh, they need to be changed. Up. I'm not sharp yet. Oh, is that when you change them when they get sharp? I usually change them every time I change the chain, but I'm yeah, kind of obsessed with it. Need a rub guard before you fuck up your sling arm. <laughs> I already am fucking it up. But uh, okay, so now do I bolt it all back in now? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has to be bolted before you can start adjusting. Oh, okay. If I was to do a whole gasket job on the engine, how long do you think that would take me? A couple days? Half, about half a day to pull it. Um, the engine out and everything? A day to do it, and if you're going to have it apart that far, you're going to make everything out anyway, so it'll be about three days to order parts if you need them. And then another half a day to pull it back in. About a week all yeah. Or if you buy a whole top end kit, whole rebuild kit all at once, you can do it literally in one weekend. A rebuild kit? Yeah. You know, like a jug kit, bring it out to a 550 or whatever they've got available. Oh, I don't want to do anything like that. Why'd you take the seat off? Notice I left a half a zip tie under here. <laughs> and I can't get it to it with my damn fingers.
Oh, you're leaking. Yep. Light came off. Need help? Don't over tighten these because you torque these, you are done. Folks, when you fuck up like that, make sure it's a harbor freight zip tie, so it breaks real easy. They made to break easy? Cheap. <laughs> uh, they break easy. I was making fun of the product more than <laughs> I get it. I'm kind of debating on the changing the angle of my shifter. What do you think? Well, it'll fuck you up the first day or so, but that's up to you. It's according to how you sit on the bike and what's comfortable to you. Uh -huh. I'll leave it the way it is now. It'll only mess you up for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> You just don't want to have to take it back off and move it if you don't like it. Exactly. Play with it. Watch your lever up top. You ain't even close, dude. What does that mean? Bring it up. You shouldn't have to hold the 12, your case should be threaded. Yeah, yeah it is. I'll bring it right back. Moving. Yeah, but your case should be threaded. It should raise the 10 anyway. In case you're wondering, there's where he's turning. I, hey, I can get this whole thing in there.
need you to do it. That's just to stop right there. coming out on its own up there? I do. It has moved. There it goes, I see it moving right now. Yeah, there's Dawn just so quick there too. Oh yeah, I'll go one. Dawn works great. So I sold me a bunch of Emily shit and I thought I heard it was wrong. It's supposed to be working. Really? Yeah. What is, what is it? The white bottles up there. The Emily. Huh. Yeah, I must have been old. It was on one of these storage units. You know, when people don't pay the auction to shit off and shit. Yep. What's an eighth of an inch? Hmm? Very small. Wow. Good question. I'm thinking. I think the other one was too. Well, I know the other one was. I mean, it's not so good. I the other one. I think that's the other one. But I got an eighth of an inch to play before it.
got to take your wheel off and put your fender on after you get your fork brace on. <laughs> I didn't do it. Oh, yeah. I was just curious. I'm like, wait a minute. What's up, yeah. Yeah. What are going to do with your fork? Just got to mark off the KC key. Huh? I got up this huge house off the KC key. I just got that. I got these stores, I got a whole bunch of stuff. What you got? It's this, an engine. It's a, no, it's a um, GS, uh, Suzuki GS 500. Painted out my clutch cable. Before it touches anything. Oh, wow. What a difference. What a difference. Right? Oh, yeah. Literally, I had like a whole inch of play before I touched anything. Which I didn't like that. It never felt right to me to begin with. Non-conductive though, I like the stuff out of the uh, spark plug wire boxes, the little clear packets. Oh, no, this is 2000. Yeah, 2001. This is his, this is the only reason it's here. I know you're working on both of them. It's a project. You put your knees up under the gas tank and that's it. It's a modern day naked bike. That was like a earlier one. What's the idea though? Well, you put your weight over the gas tank and put the knees up into the gas tank? Not really. Well, the one kid started it with the cafe tail and then. Kind of right like this. He's building the rest of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Put your knees up into the gas tank and lean up over the front. That's the way you keep the front end down when you really slam on it so it doesn't lift over and flip backwards on it. Yeah, that nice. It'll hold out nice, so. Alright, I'll leave you guys alone. Alright. Thanks, bud. Yeah. All right, fuckers and fuckheads. That's in there. That's on there. We'll holler. Tell fuckers and fuckheads later.